Hey guys, um, I asked if anybody wanted me to post a kettlebell thing, uh, and I got a little bit of response, so I'm going to do one right now. I was brainstorming, I keep running in the same thing, for some reason a lot of people can't get the concept of pushing their butt backwards, and it's freaking me out. And so I was thinking, I was like, how can I just like be behind them and pull their butt backwards whenever they need to hinge the hips? So I was like, I'll just do that with this band that I found right here. So this is the cue. When you're by yourself, attach it to something stationary. You can use a lighter one. All we need is this tug right at the hips to hinge us backwards. Kettlebell swings is not a squat and thrust. It's a hinge of the hips backwards and a thrust forward. Your shins should stay pretty much vertical. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate a few uh, right here. So when you get in a swing, what doesn't need to happen is a squat and a push. This is horrible, horrible form. What needs to happen is the weight's right here, and when you get it going, this will pull your hips back, and then you thrust forward against the band. This band is helping you cue um, good form, and it also has the added benefit of resistance when you're going into this motion. So then muscle memory starts building after a couple reps, um, you know, it'll force you backwards, and then you have to explode out of it, um, and you'll build some serious athleticism and good form. So that's my take on how to hinge the hips to get the kettlebell swing more efficiently. Thanks.